<gasps> oh my god! Whoa, my whoa, 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 Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange genre tontis par ici. Dude, you gave me. Je prends un peu de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. Dude, you gave me. You fucking almost gave me a heart attack, my guy. Holy shit. What is wrong with you? Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. Oh, thank you. Anything else that you have to say? Trade caribou for coat. The fuck? Where do I? Where am I gonna find that? Okay. Oye, oye, oye! Y'a un petit gars d'écarté dans ma maison. All right. Yeah, you're one to talk, buddy. La Corivo, Batesh, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. Elle tuait tous ses maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Hey, What did you say? La Corivo, Batesh, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. Elle tuait tous ses maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Ok. I don't know where this uh, caribou shit is, dude. Yeah, freaking any other light source, my guy? Oh my god! Ouais, que t'as pas mieux à faire. Ain't you got something better to do? Hold on, my guy. Tales and Legends. Le livre, là, c'est le Wendigo. Ouais. Ah, shit, dude. Pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Wendigo? Oh god, alright. There was a time when hate, ra uh, hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate. Okay. Uh, and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balanced ma maintained. Then came the Whites. The legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before that what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations, when the ships came and spewed men... Shut up, dude. <clears throat> uh, time... A time of great cold and great aspirations, when the ships came and spewed m men and their fire cannons, plagues and spinelessness, balance broke forever. The dead were piling up on our ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss. Too much blood spilled on our stone. Our bone-breaking hate did not suffice with much longer. <laughs> Dude, this guy's fucking crazy. One day, a young warrior who had lost everything, nieces, brothers, parents, and hope, fell to his knees in the middle of the small clearing, covered in, a bl in the blood of his fiancée, killed after having crossed the path of some whites passing by. He had seen everything and called out to the great spirit, called out to him with words that came so naturally to him. Ouais, que pas mieux à faire. Word, uh, words that could only great a, create a great river of blood and guts and a terrifying roar of screams. He called out to him with for a force that no one had called before. He became Wendigo. The whites were decimated under the icy claws of the Wendigo. The great tide of blood even pushed a few ships back out to sea. But the Wendigo has, was not yet done with his vengeance. For as long as the heart of one of his fiancé's murderers still beat on Cree territory, he would prevail. The elders say that it was a force of... Shut up! It was the force of the ancestors returned to nature that returned the young warrior. In this clearing, where many ancestors have been buried in centuries past, a clearing now covered the blood in blood spilled unjustly in a time where too many bodies were being buried. The ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. 
<laughs> Only in the remarkable time that this could the Wendigo have been born. His vengeance satiated, the warrior became Wendigo. When the warrior became become Wendigo, went to rest forever. His frozen heart melted and disappeared, much like real snow be come to come the spring. The storm that had befallen the Cree lands faded as well. There was much celebration. Uh, balance had been restored, but the whites came back too. White hatred is never satisfied by rock and bone turned to dust. They survived by the hundreds, armed with guns and torches, burned down every village, raped every woman, smashed the head of every newborn, tortured every man that fell into their grips. Never before had the balance been so deep for the Cree people. The unbalance been so deep for the Cree peoples, and ever since it has been told that one should be satisfied with the rivers of blood brought by hatred, despite the wrongfulness done to them, because remarkable hate comes at far too steep a price. The Wendigo was never invoked again, but in the hearts of the Cree people remained a fear that one day a young warrior would once again call out with remarkable hate, because they know, through the wisdom brought by this legend, that the Wendigo would prevail, but that this victory would come at a great cost. The Whites would come back, the Whites would rule, none would be spared. Finally got through that. Shut the fuck up! Go moi la belle rose la tulle. Qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des sangs. Si tu peux effrayer cette histoire. Indeed. Dans mon temps, c'était comme sur l'image. On était vrai, fier, fort, puis on avait le bon lieu de notre bord. Huh. Okay. I do love how he didn't have a fire going in here, like, at all. You know? Alright, buddy, I'll freaking find your goddamn stupid... I'm turning off your music, though. Because fuck you. Yeah, yeah, whatever, old man. I'll go get your caribou. Mon beau bonnet du beau yeah, shut the fuck up. Where would I find caribou? Caribou brandy is what I'm looking for. But there, where would Carl I find had it? Fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Dude, what? Are you telling me I actually need food? Uh, I have pills. <laughs> um, I will, I guess, smoke up some. And just hope that I find caribou at another household. There wasn't much in that one besides the Wendigo. Which is probably going to be the beast. Most likely. That is uh, terrorizing this town. So that's going to be fun to deal with. Alright, so we got two more houses. Let's hope that one of them has caribou in it. Let's hope. Let's hope. <clears throat> that guy scared the living shit out of me, though. Holy shit. God damn, I did not expect to see another person until, like, at least the end of the game. But he fucking... Oh my god. He scared the shit out of me. Alright. So, go down and to the left. Gotcha. Just follow the road. Oh, man. Alright. So, uh, while I'm driving, a little bit of an update. Um, there's going to be some new, new stuff coming on to the channel. Um, particularly another complete series that is not Yakuza or Tomb Raider. Um... And it is uh, going to be something very, very long. And uh, I'm actually calling in some help to uh, help me do it. So, I'm excited. Uh, and I'm actually going to start recording that tomorrow, which I am very excited about. So, and I hope that you guys are too. But uh, it's a very well-known series, I'll, I'll let you guys know that. But it has a fuck ton of games. 
um, but I'm going to do a complete series on them, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Hey, another car! Alright, this time I am going to be extra fucking careful from now on walking into houses. House of the Patriot. Oh boy. Alright. Let's hope that he has some caribou. Oh, would you look at that. Another one of those. You got a target range here. With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. <laughs> Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. True. Bullseye! <laughs> oh, Carl. You fucking weirdo. Alright, I guess let's go ahead. Oh, wait. Did I grab a log? I might want to do that real quick. Oh, there's some right there. Hold on. Ooh, can I grab that axe? That'd be super fucking helpful, dude. If I could get that axe. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I'll come back for you. Hold on, wait a minute. Because I'm sure I could probably use that instead of the hammer. Ooh, but I might need to use the hammer. Fuck. Okay. Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. Is that down there? Anything? Okay, I don't see anything down there. Okay, so when we light up the fire inside here, I guess we'll be good. Nobody in here gonna shoot me, right? The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Okay, but where's your fucking... Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's your stove, dude? Whew. Okay. Well, this is definitely an odd place. Just a single room. Okay. Is that a fucking Bowie knife? Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> I thought it was for some... That's the Hindenburg disaster. Uh, okay, real quick. I want to look at this axe. Before I look at anything in there, I want to take a look at this axe. <clears throat> and then I An might... Axe. Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. I'm going to go back to my own truck and store... If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is where we'll find the caribou sweet because i have a feeling that we're gonna need that in order to um we're gonna need that warm clothing in order to do the hiking trail to get up to the cabin that was uh jean luke's and uh the other guys um that they had the key for uh okay i'm gonna go ahead Ooh, i don't know i don't know okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do that because I, I think we only need one, really. Um, I'll put a few in there, too. Um, okay, I think that's everything I want to put in there for right now. But nice. I think this hatchet will, uh, will do me well. Alright. A lot better than the crowbar, anyway. Can't see shit! The fuck is this? Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. Ha! <laughs> in Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. 
But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. <laughs> that man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Quebec liberation will happen not uh, will happen by force or not at all. We will prevail. Viva la revolution! Hell yeah, man. <laughs> okay, nothing in there. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. <laughs> the man didn't own a turntable, though, so there's that going for him. <laughs> nothing. Is that freaking underwear? That is. There's underwear right in there, man. Ew! Is that some snow clipping through the house? <laughs> uh, not a, not any game can be perfect, I guess. No such thing as a perfect game. Wouldn't that be some shit if he was like hiding in the rafters and he just jumped out and freaking slashed my neck with a Bowie knife? That'd be some some badass shit. But I'd also be extremely mad. Why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? I swear, one of these days, I'm just gonna fucking open up one of these things, and there's just gonna be a fucking midget. Just like, <laughs> just fucking crouching. <laughs> just crouching in one of these, <laughs> in one of these freaking cupboards. And <laughs> just gonna freaking stab me in the shins. God damn, this house really runs. God damn. A gun rack. A gun rack. <laughs> There's not much else to say about it. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. <laughs> Jesus. What was up with this guy? Now, this guy's a candidate, whoever he is. He's, I think, a definite candidate for, uh, for fucking Hamilton's murder. Prepare caribou. Okay, we need something else. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Ew. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. That's, that's you. Okay. <clears throat> Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Okay, caribou traditional recipe. White whiskey. Too much isn't a valid quantifier for that. And sherry wine for added mellowness. Okay. Gin fizz. What's this? Rejean. Rejean. Seems like that pig a had a name after all. Huh. 1968, huh? So you got that pretty recently. Damn, 1941. I mean, I guess, yeah, again, this is made in the 70s. Or, like, not made in the 70s, because, Jesus. But, uh, this was... This is set in the 70s. Okay, so... I need the white wine. Okay. Maybe if I have an empty bottle on me. Let's try this. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Okay, where do we find the fucking white whiskey, dude? Where do we find it? Drawers are overrated. <laughs> Drawers are overrated. Um, see, I thought, like, maybe I could pour out the freaking white whiskey. Maybe. Because I, I have the shit... What the fuck? Okay, whatever, man. I'm, I'm just gonna make the caribou. There we go. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. 
No, huh. this was a junk man's base of operations. Okay. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. <laughs> in the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. All right, let's just hope that he's not a little bit trigger happy and not freaking like wandering around in these woods. Carl felt that it was mission accomplished with the wicked nectar in his hands. Okay. Let's uh let's head back then. Let's hope that he doesn't fucking try to shoot at me again. That'd be nice. Back it up, back it up. Oh! Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to the good old freaking old old man. Give him his fucking caribou. <clears throat> so that was what the sherry wine was for. At least it had a purpose. <laughs> At least it had a purpose. All right. coming up all right do not shoot at me again dude please god damn it oh, every time I crash it looks like my sanity goes down that's kind of dumb not gonna lie kind of stupid but whatever all right eh Eh, there we go. Okay. Do 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 do. Don't shoot me. Yep. Just let me warm up. What the fuck? Let me... there we go. Here you go, man. Oh, quand on cherche, on trouve. Parce que je t'aime bien, Aster, va te dire quelque chose. Yeah, what's up? Tu fais bien de prendre ma pelisse. Parce que par là-bas, tu vas rencontrer le vrai froid. Un froid qui glace comme t'en as jamais connu. Oh, trust me, no, I know. I know. <laughs> trust me. I am fully aware about that. Nice! Oh, snuggly. Winter is coming. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You couldn't freaking like, you know. Still good. <laughs> Things are better when they're old. I think that's what he said. I couldn't see over the freaking... Alright, well, thank you. For the coat. I really appreciate it. Um, But I'll get going now. Thank you very much, sir. Try not to... <clears throat> Try not to get eaten by the by the Wendigos. My main man. All right. Well, that was nice of him. Now we got a nice nice coat and gloves. Look at that. I think we can uh survive the um survive shit more often now. Okay. I mean, like, I, I think we can bear the cold more now. Um, the old man's cabin had been very generous to Carl. <laughs> he couldn't have asked for more. Oh, yeah. All right. Next place. We only got one house to do now. And then it's uh, off to the hiking trail, it looks like. And whatever is up there. Okay. Let's get going. I've seen fucking... Tr uh, I, so I was like looking up Kona because I was like, oh yeah, I'm interested to see how long the game is. There's some there's some gameplays of this game that are only two hours long, which I don't know how that's even possible. Unless you know where everything is. To the point where you could just go boom, boom, boom and just skip all the extra stuff. Uh, Where am I? Okay, so yeah, keep going straight. Because that's, uh, what's his faces? The freaking moonshiners. <laughs> uh, place. 
one of these days, I'm, like, I swear, I'm gonna freaking, like, be driving, and then, like, the freaking, like, Wendigo's gonna run out in front of me and scare the shit out of me, dude. I swear. <laughs> it's gonna happen one day, dude. It's gonna happen. I just feel it in my bones that that's gonna be something that this game would fucking pull, you know? Where I, like, look out a window and it's just staring there, like, standing there staring at me. God, I, I am not looking forward to that. I think we're gonna need our, uh, our clampers for this one. Draw. Uh, da -da 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 -da. these, uh, the pincers. Yeah. Let's go check the good old, oh, wait. Hold up. There's another ice thing right here. Good deal. Alright. Ooh, a package. Letter for Lamoth. Dear Mr. Lamoth, here is the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model, being very popular, has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage pot bin and feel. Oh, shit. Okay. That's where we can find the, uh, the one thing. Inchibo Gamau. Sincerely, Gaten Potvin. Okay. What about the, what about the package? Spark plug. Okay. Uh, can I read what this says? Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land, as a dog is with hydrants. I see. So basically, like, do not enter, probably, is what that says. Alright. Let's break open this lock. Breaking and entering, man. That's what I do. I, uh, I think... Actually, I'll keep the pincers around. Just in case I need them. Lamotte's Garage. Now this is a huge... The fuck? There's something up with this place, apparently. There's something in the garage, isn't there? Another worrisome victim. Ah, oh, shit. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? Well, here we go into another trip, dude. Into yet another fucking trip, dude. All right. Is he smoking? Okay. Oh shit. What's trying to Oh no. Something was trying to... Oh! Oh! God damn! Why am I in darkness? The fuck? Hello? Something up there. Okay. What was attack? What the Something fuck? Very important Is that the Wendigo? There for the man to take such time and effort to hide it, but Carl didn't know how to reach it. Huh. The week of October fifth, thought Carl, 
That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I got it. I'm expecting a nice spark plug around the week of October 5th. It's already paid for. Okay. Hmm. Well, shit, dude. <clears throat> Too many orange juice bottles. There's not a. There's no such thing, Carl. Absolutely no such thing. Okay, so it was it was that one, right? Uh, da -da -da -da. Inventory. We do have the spark plug. Repair spaceship. The shape of this the machine, fuck? almost straight out of Star Trek. Okay, but so out it of needs... the ordinary, to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. It needs duct tape and something else. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot. 